Hello fellow Pokemon fans, I'm Brascoin and welcome to the channel for another Pokemon Go spoofing video. This one is one that you guys have asked me to do. I'm excited to announce a partnership with i2 Lab Anygo, which is a program that will allow you to spoof your location directly from your iOS device. However, you do need to use a PC at least once to get it set up and connected. Let's go ahead and download the program for our iOS device. I'm using an iPad today. So we're gonna to go to itoollab.com. We're gonna to go to utilities and download the AnyGo GPS spoofer. As you can see, it has an Apple logo for try it now. We're gonna click on that and we're going to download it to our iPad. It's gonna ask us to open it up in the iTunes store. That's perfectly okay. And then we're going to go ahead and install it from there. So we install there. And then we have to do a few things to get it running. We have to go to settings, general, VPN and device management on our phone and enable it. We have to trust the service provider, to trust the developer for use on our phone. And then we have to install the desktop version of AnyGo and use its toolkit or connect it for the first time to install the AnyGo components on the device. So you can do it one of two ways. The instructions here will get you there, but I'm gonna do it a different way in my video. I'm just gonna connect it as if I was using the PC and it'll download the components all the same. So that having been said, let's start moving into the actual program. We have the AnyGo STD there. So we're going to give us a message saying that we need to go and trust it. So we're gonna go ahead and go to general. We're gonna scroll down to the VPN management and we're going to trust the developer of AnyGo STD or AnyGo standard. And what this is going to do is allow us to open up a mock version of the program. This one is not the official program that we will be using. Uh, it's just a kind of a link, if you will, to get to the real program. So we're gonna mess around in here a little bit, click on a few buttons, uh, try to use the program, and it's gonna say, hey, um, that's not gonna work. You need to install uh, these other things. So it's asking me to upgrade to the official version. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We'll click the upgrade to official version, and it'll take us to the website to download yet another program that will allow us to actually spoof our location. It's a little bit interesting how iOS has us do this. I'm gonna enter my registration information. You do need to pay for this service to be able to use it. We'll go ahead and click the install. We're going to have to set up the test flight in order to use the beta version of this app that we're gonna use for any go spoofing. So we'll get the test flight downloaded. We'll go ahead and install it. It's gonna have me sign in. You guys don't need to see that, but we're gonna sign in uh, and install that. And now it says start testing down below the join the beta in step two. So we're gonna click that for start testing. Here in just a second, there we go. I think I actually hit don't allow, but it doesn't matter. Agree to the terms of service and then ready to test, we're going to redeem the AnyGo Everywhere download. So we're going to install that. And that's really the last thing we need to install on our iPad for the programs to get this to work correctly. So we'll go ahead and let that download for a minute. All right, now that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and click that magical open button. It's going to launch the program on our device and we're gonna agree. And then we're gonna hit next. It's telling us, hey, you need to connect it to the computer and install this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We also need to allow VPN settings. So when I try to use it again, it's going to ask me to configure my VPN settings for use. So I'm just gonna click yes on that and it'll run for a few seconds and get everything configured. We hit allow. It's gonna go over into our add VPN connection, ask you for your password. Uh, for your device and then it's going to make the necessary connections it needs to and then it says hey component is missing this is where the PC comes in this is the only time you'll need a PC to set this device up to be able to use the AnyGo spoofer on your mobile device itself so we're gonna pop over to the PC real fast and get that installed all right here we are on the PC so we're gonna go once again to the same website before we're going to drop a link into the description below for you guys so you can have ease of access to get there and then we're going to click the try it now option and then we are going to 
uh, install it from there. So try it now, it's going to pop up a download window, downloads up there, we're going to slap that and we're going to launch it. I've already got it installed on my PC, so that's not really that big of a deal for me. So we're just going to launch the program. <coughs> Go ahead and install it. All right, the icon appeared up in the upper left-hand corner for the installation. We are able to click start now, launch up any go on our PC, and then it'll try to connect to my iPad, which I have connected to my PC here in just a moment. We're gonna hit start, iOS, because we are using an iPad, Kakashi's iPad, that's what my iPad's name, so we're gonna choose that, and then we're gonna let it connect here. It will have us unplug and replug it in a few times. That is completely normal. That is supposed to happen. It's part of the installation process. I've had to do it a couple of times, so we'll let that do its thing. All right, hit 100%. We are good to launch it. So we're gonna open up Pokemon Go here, show you guys that we are just on stock Pokemon Go right now. Installation is done at this point, so if you're here for installation, that's it. Uh, you could use that computer program without all the extra steps to just do it on your computer, but you guys ask specifically for a video on how to do it directly on your iPad or iOS device. So we just caught a Caterpie that's going to establish the base. We're here in New York. So we're by Bryant Park on Fifth Street uh, by, by, uh, in New York. We're going to launch AnyGo from the iPad itself, and it's going to reflect, hey, we're on a uh, by Bryant Park here. I wanna to go to the other side of the Central Park. So we're going to teleport and there we go, change locations successfully. And then we're going to pop back into Pokemon Go here for a moment. It is going to close out, reopen it, and that keeps us safe. So it's going to reload Pokemon Go. That's a good thing, we want that to happen because you don't really want to change locations or teleport long distances while the app is open. That's bad, so don't do that. Always close the app, teleport, open the app. It keeps you safe. All right, here we are at the other end of Central Park. We did teleport. We can spin Pokestops just fine. Here in a moment, I'm going to catch some Pokemon for you guys, but we're also going to showcase a joystick function that the, uh, that the iPad is able to still do. So that's really cool. We're gonna go ahead and slap the joystick button. We're gonna hit play and it's gonna start auto walking for us. I'm going to adjust my speed a little bit up to four here in just a few moments. You can see that there is a cooldown timer below the speed adjustment. That is the recommended cooldown for the distance that I traversed. So I did about two-ish miles. It's saying, hey, you need to wait like about a minute. So it's gonna here and over there. I'm gonna adjust my speed up a little bit so we can get some movement going hit the play button and it is going to start auto walking us. And we can use our touchpad to control where we're going with the direction. And here in Pokemon Go, I'm gonna start walking in that direction. Um, we can catch some Pokemon. Let's grab that Mankey there. Show you guys that after teleporting, I'm still able to catch Pokemon without them fleeing. Uh, I do actually quite like Mankey. Mankey was one of my favorite Pokemon for the longest time. Uh, as my friends could attest to, I was obsessed with monkeys. Mankey was the personification of that obsession. So definitely had a lot of those growing up. All right, got a medal, that's pretty neat. Finally caught 50 fighting Pokemon. Okay, we're just gonna continue trucking along here, uh, here in just a second, because I'm not doing this part live. We're gonna get that Mawile. There's Mawile, we're gonna go ahead and catch that. But that's it guys, the installation probably takes about 30 minutes altogether in one whack obviously i cut down on the waiting time because of video editing magic but this program is pretty easy to install on your ios devices android is going to be very very similar but i personally use ios um, so i can't really demonstrate for android specifically but this will work on both devices um, Excited for this partnership with i2Lab to be able to do this AnyGo spoofing program. And you guys asked me to do one on the iOS devices and on our mobile devices specifically. So I'm glad to kind of approach two, two goals with, with one video. So that's been really cool. Huge shout out to i2Lab 
any go for the partnership here that they offered. But uh, give it an install, guys. It is not a free spoofer because it is working directly on your iPhone. It does cost some money and you will have to pay for it to be able to set it up. Or you can use the free trial on the PC version as well without installing it on the iPad or on your mobile device. Uh, it's really up to you, but this video covers pretty much everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in another video.